Each year, thousands of families are forced to choose between making ends meet or giving Christmas presents to their children. That's why 10 News is excited to partner with the Salvation Army Angel Tree Program this year to make sure children and seniors in need have presents under the tree. 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas has more on how you can adopt an angel in the New River Valley. The need is great this year in the New River Valley, but the Salvation Army is working hard to make sure that hundreds of children and seniors in need have their Christmas list filled. And although it's only November, the Christmas magic is already underway. Filling up with toys, the Salvation Army Church in Christiansburg is transforming into Santa's workshop. So much joy. This is one of my favorite time of the year. As Captain Charlene Cover starts unboxing presents to give to children in need. So the Angel Tree program, it allows every child to open a gift Christmas morning with that same joy and experience. And thanks to these angels, Christmas lists that will be filled through the kindness of strangers, parents can focus on the needs of the family. The need this year um, is so much greater when it comes to the bills. For us personally, we have seen our numbers, to be honest, have tripled when it comes to um, the assistance with the utility and the rental assistance. So that's why I think the Angel Tree program is so important. Captain Gover says already there are more than 900 children on the Angel Tree in the New River Valley, which serves Radford, Montgomery, Giles, Pulaski, and Floyd. And due to the need this year, they've reopened registration for families in Floyd County. They expect around 1,000 angels in total, more than double the number from last year. You can adopt an angel by visiting their tree at the New River Valley Mall or other Walmart locations throughout the area. We've got a list of all of their locations at WSLS.com slash angel. And if you can't adopt an angel, the Salvation Army of the New River Valley is also looking for donations of Christmas stockings that will be given to each child. In the newsroom, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.